right, okay. Look how casual he's sitting. Where and when did you see him? <laughs> I like the gestures, too. You know, that's a small thing in video games, but he's he's animated. He is. That's really cool. He's got it a lot of personality. I was coming out of my dressing room, and I saw him on the staircase. He turned to me, then quickly ran up the stairs. I was too frightened to follow. So she saw him on the staircase. We saw him on the stage, so... What did he look like? Yes, what did he look like? He was dressed formally, but his clothes were rather old-fashioned, of the kind they wore during his day. He had on a cape and was carrying a cane. Okay. He was not wearing a mask. Wait a minute. I only caught a glimpse of his face, for it was very dark. It looked like a skull. Why do you say that you always knew he would return? Because I have dreamt about it. I have some of the powers that my great-grandmother had, you see. Oh, so she uh, is descended from... She is. From the little Gioi. She is, yeah. Your great-grandmother? We will Please run into her later you. in the game, actually. We will. Well, so she will. Ah. at the opera as what today we would call an usher. She looked after the boxes. She was in charge of the Phantom's personal box. Ooh, a personal <laughs> box. Go on. Yes, it tell me about the personal five. box. He had ordered the manager of the opera to never sell the box as it was his. He would attend the opera in that box, but no she one is knew master how he got those into three it. moves. He certainly didn't go through the door. <laughs> she is, she's so good. She's got some tell bad me skills. More about Madame Geary. He's oh. kind of pronouncing it a little bit, right? To put it bluntly, she was a psychic. She communicated with the Phantom without ever seeing him or speaking to him directly. She also wrote a book about him which you can find in the Opera Library. Tell me about your dreams. I see him in a haze of darkness and shadows. He emerges. He has a woman with him dressed in white. But I cannot see her face. She is wearing a mask. I think I know who she might be though. So there's a book in the library by Madame Geary that mm. we can find. Everyone's with wearing him? masks? Why is she? Yes. Who else is wearing masks? He would leave her instructions in his box, but she almost always knew beforehand what he wanted and provided it. Mm. The ghost tipped her very well. He was good to her. <laughs> because Didn't of money. your great grandmother <laughs> yeah. see him in the box? Never. She never tried to see him. She was a little afraid of him despite his kindness. Well, clearly this but did not take inspiration from the Joel Schumacher film. No, no, no this was much earlier tricking. anyway. Uh, I think they should make a movie based on this game. Who do you think she that is? That would actually, or like a miniseries I think it'd something. be an interesting premise. Phantom was in love with a singer named Christine Day. It could be her. But I have a theory that it might be Christine Florent. There is some kind of connection between the two. Not only do they look alike, but they are both gifted singers. Perhaps that is why the ghost has returned here and now. Because wow, of she her. knows a shit ton of stuff. Tell me about yeah, for like a little girl? Like how long has she been she wrote it around the turn in of the this century. opera house? It's, it sounds like forever. Death. She became something of an authority. Whoa, some weird her. music just if suddenly you showed up. You probably should. Okay, I don't care. I'm sorry. I don't care I about who you are. I bet she's gonna get sad that you don't want to stay and talk to her anymore. <laughs> don't leave. She is! She got yeah. sad! Everyone, I'm sorry. Everyone gets sad if you don't ask them every little question. You don't- it's one of those games though where I- I don't think you have to ask every single question. We might have to refer to the walkthrough just to see, like, oh that's locked, okay. Uh, just to see if we are doing the dialogue trees right. I hope we are. I think we are. Pretty good memory of this game. He seems to be walking with a lot of confidence. I think we're doing fine. <laughs> if by confidence you mean, like, <laughs> slow and not concerned about the murderer. Keep this in mind. Fire axe. There's a fire axe here. For a second I thought it was an arrow. Pointing <laughs> that <laughs> room. Go, go this way. Go there. Is that a Christmas tree? It's like a plant. Mm. A very small, very tiny Christmas tree. So this is Christine's room. That's pretty. I'm gonna look at it. Where's my look? Oh, the look is default. Okay. Uh, look at it. The mural shows a ballerina in action. Could it be a Degas original? Wait a minute. I'm gonna take this. <gasps> There's a small note. Uh, hang on. Where's the tape? Ew, tape. he's commenting on her dressing gown being soft and luxurious. <laughs> <laughs> the note doesn't belong to you. I guess I should talk to her. Okay, I want to let this woman talk and you decide. Okay. Who are you? 
What is up with this woman's voice, for real? Bonjour. I am Raoul Monton of the Surete. It is like an immediate like sexual attraction. It's very strange. I'm glad you are here. Please sit down. Like she, she sounds like she's sick. Can you tell me anything about the chandelier falling? Yes, I suppose I must speak up now. I've been afraid to mention anything until this. I think they just told her happened. be scared. I believe it is all and, because of me. And that those for her, scared is just constant Why do you voice think breaks. It's all because of you. So she thinks it is her fault because she's like. Because the Opera Why Ghost has returned to seek his revenge, but why me? I do not know. The Opera Ghost. What do you know about him? Only that his name was Eric, and he was a talented composer and architect. Some say he possessed some black magic abilities, but who knows? You probably think I might be crazy, but I believe in you him. You probably think I might be crazy, he but I believe in him. to me in my dreams. Actually, it's the same dream, over and over. Oh, so, so her she... neck is like, I, I, I don't understand this portrait. I'm sorry, this looks really bad. It's not good. It looks like a disembodied Tell head. Tell me about your dreams. There is a mysterious man, dressed formally, in a cape. He's standing in the shadows with a mist surrounding him. He beckons to me. He has a seductive She is really quick to resist. tell him I'm having crazy dreams about a psychotic man. This is the second time we've asked somebody about their dreams, by the way. What else happens in the dream? Yeah, what else happens? Mm. Well, he makes love to me. At first it is passionate and pleasurable. But then, I always begin to feel trapped. And I struggle to get away. I reach up to move his face into the light, but he won't let me. TMI, lady! Yeah, we've known that, well, he is a detective, so I don't know if... And there's, like, this immediate attraction. Like, it's supposed to be, like, Christine and Raoul from the past, my and now they're, like, reincarnated. Mm. And he wraps a thin rope around my neck. He... he starts to strangle me. Just as I start to black out, I wake up. It's very frightening. What makes you think he's after you? Because I received a note from him. Do you still have this note? Yes. If you want it, you can have it. It's there in my. Oh, if you room. want it, that uh, did you read that the way I read that? If you want it, you can have it. That's, I think that's. I that's think that's creepy. a line. That's have creepy. Have you ever heard of Christine Day? No, they do pronounce yes, it Day. I, I think in this. Yeah, yeah, that's wrong. Yeah. No one knows what happened to Christine Day and her lover Raoul de Chagny. Supposedly, they disappeared together. I don't blame them. I... I have heard <laughs> stories that I resemble her. I'll take a look in that you look exactly <laughs> like her. <laughs> Please do. I'm gonna Beware. take a look. Ooh. I have returned to seek my revenge against you for leaving me to die in loneliness and solitude. Not even your lover can save you this time. So it is like a weird ghost trapped in like the past hmm hmm i don't yeah i don't know yeah. why did it all of a sudden turn black and white have you ever seen him when i thought he was dramatic effect i thought he was about to die <laughs> never only in the dream but little julie geary has claimed to have seen him she describes him just as he appears now in she the dream. sounds really lethargic you are not related to her are you well, uh, frankly dude, I Ro, do come on know. My grandmother was orphaned, so I'm unsure of my lineage prior to her. There is only one curious clue. What is and what is what that is this clue? woman's deal? That she was born in Scandinavia. That's the clue. And that was where Christine Day was from. As we all know, Scandinavia has like five people. <laughs> <that she laughs> A lot of Chinese people were born friends. in Scandinavia. Well, if if you know Scandinavia, I mean, there's like a what one in five chance I that you're here. gonna find out who you came from, cause just, because just you know, I believe I super tiny. Danger. I've been afraid to mention it to anyone until tonight. I have been afraid to mention it, except I brought it up to you really easily. What do you mean by until tonight? Have you noticed that we are all just questions? Like, we don't have, have any a statements. Kind face, monsieur. Mm. I sense that I can trust you. <gasps> oh, see, that's kind of nice. Why do you think you're in danger? Like, it's all questions all the time. It's somehow connected with a chandelier falling tonight. <laughs> Adieu, mademoiselle I think Florent. she's kind of I must inferring a connection when there may Wait, not be monsieur. one. Do not leave me, please. Aww. I am frightened. The only time he doesn't ask questions is when he says he has to go. 
Oh man, we can be like, get, get hold? Like, get a hold of yourself? It says get hold, but yeah. I, uh, get hold, get hold. I don't Are know. We... This sounds mean, but this sounds pat, like, dismissive. What do I do? I don't know what to do. Um, I think she needs to get a hold of herself. Get hold of yourself. You're safe here. I, I, I feel wish like I could dig believe. now. <laughs> I feel like something dreadful is going to happen to me. Promise me that you'll return, all right? I, I'm gonna promise I her. Promise to I'm return. just one of those players, like, I can never do, like, the dark runs or, like, be a dick. I always Let's have see, to do, you. like, the light stuff and be nice. But what if again. it's a promise you can't keep? Adieu. Like, what if you die? Then she's forever gonna be waiting for you with her little day I mean, mean Death is an exception, right? Like that's that's a, that's a good excuse for not keeping a promise, I assume. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's a note. Okay, I'm already forgetting what's in our inventory. Oh, are you enjoying this music? <laughs> I'm loving it. Oh, we can just walk to the railing. What do we, what can we do at the railing? Can we talk? To, can we can, look can we at pull it? it? Can <laughs> Can we push it and just fall down the stairs? That'll save us a lot of time. That, you know, it's tempting. Okay, so now I think if if I'm right, I think comes the part where everything's kind of jumping the shark. Oh what? God! Shark what? Plug. Oh! oh! Oh, oh. oh yes, shit's gonna get real now. Sacre bleu. <gasps> Someone didn't call heads. Calling heads when you drop something is the first rule in theater. Hmm, you think? There doesn't appear to be anyone up there. We would know because we're all the way down here, not looking. Was this an accident or something else? <gasps> I think we can take the bag. Can I don't... we take the bag? I want the bag. We can take it. I mean, it's evidence. Sandbags are commonly used in theaters as counterweights. This one is a heavy 10 pound bag and the rope attached to it looks conspicuously <gasps> cut. So we're just gonna carry around a 10 pound bag for the rest of the game. That sounds awful. Wow. Yeah. Getting his cardio in. Here we go. Okay, so as a kid, I got this far. I got to the catwalk and I'm like, fuck no. <laughs> I was <laughs> so scared. No, look, <gasps> that's scared. Just the shit out of me. You suddenly get a creepy feeling that someone is watching you. Oh, I don't know what could trigger that. Maybe the giant shadow of someone watching me. Oh man. I just Walk I just too tarp. No, you're gonna see what happens. Are those shoes? Come on, happen. Why is it not happening? Walk to lighting instrument. Exit to catwalk over house. Huh. Maybe this isn't the right time for this. I I was sure Oh! Hey, I found a thing. Hang on. Oh, is that like a lighting thing? Yes, it is. And I don't, I don't know if anyone remembers my review or if I mentioned this, but I could never figure out what these were for, like ever. I don't know why they're used. I think it's a gel. You can put it over a light. Well, not in this game. You just collect them. Oh, you just have them? You just have them. W why is that something that he would collect? I don't know. I, does he have like a weird fetish that there's gotta be that i don't understand oh do we need to look at the counterweight system to determine like if it the sandbag fell on us on purpose girl you were giving this way too much thought <laughs> no <laughs> oh but it gives us all these places to we can't interact with any of them yeah oh. it's one of those things it's one of those games that's like it has very specific um things that you need to do i like that statue oh, you can <laughs> i think it's what, what? Missing. That's, why did he like and, look like that? But he is so cautious. Oh yeah, every step. Take every, lessons, here's the, boys and girls. Here's another one here. So, I still I don't know. I know you have to collect them to progress. So this is just a red colored gel. Um, ooh, this. Vive la France. Yep. Okay, well let's go through here. Oh, bear prop. Oh, I thought it was a pony. The door is locked. I feel, I'm feeling like we either need to find a key or we get a key mm. at some point. I'm gonna look down here real quick. Whoa, um, look at that mummy. That is sweet. It's just a prop. What, for what show would they need <laughs> a mummy prop for opera? What is the thing that's moldy? Is it a sandwich? It, it was a mug. I don't know why I thought I needed to take the mug. Apparently not. 
Um, I thought there was something down here. Raul has really high standards. He's like, that's a mug and it has mold on it. I'm not even going to touch it with my hands. But he's collecting the gels. Like, what do we need? I could use a mug. Mm -hmm. What am I, what is this? You know what? We may have to talk to Bree. <gasps> we do, I think we, cause he, he really wanted us to go talk to him. He's really lonely. Wait a minute, I'm gonna take this hemp. Can we take that? Hemp is found throughout a theater. You've always wondered why stagehands always call it hemp when it's obviously just rope. Ha, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Whoops, I did that wrong completely. Take the hemp. Can I take it? You attempt to take the hemp, but quickly deduce that the action would be a waste of your valuable time and energy. I, I tend thought... to disagree, Raul. I think that's a great use of our time. We should have some ropes so we can defend ourselves. I am trying to figure out what we have are these damn gels. What can we do with them? I seriously think we have to collect all the gels before the game progresses. I think that's what's happening. The gels don't do anything, but I'm pretty sure we have to collect them. Does, does, which Char is weird. Char Charlie, Charles, does he know? Hey, no. what's up with all these gels? I don't know. <laughs> I can tell you everything about the history of this theater though. Sniff. <laughs> Sniff. <laughs> <laughs> the sun is congestion. And like, yeah, when I was a kid, after the Phantom went across the stage, I was actually super scared <sighs> to like go across the stage. I thought he was gonna. I thought it was gonna be like a jump scare game where he's just gonna come out of nowhere. Is he walking on tin cans? Ding, 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 ding. That's a terrible stage. Okay, so here's another gel. Hey, a headset. <gasps> Ooh, can we take that? I'm gonna guess no. I don't think you can take many things. Can we remix it? It is the property of the Paris Opera House and would not be much use to you anyway. We have no problem taking the, the freaking gels that are clearly the property of the Opera House too. So yeah, there, I, I, there's gotta be, there has got to be a reason for these gels. We should go talk to our best friend. Maybe he'll sit backwards in his chair and tell us about his feelings. <laughs> oh. Champ, you got this. You're gonna figure it out. I actually think that the last gel is on the catwalk and I just didn't go all the way down, but let's go to Bree. We may not have to do this, but let's do it anyway. Let's go, go, let's go to Bree. I miss him. You miss Bree? I miss Bree. That's a type of cheese. He, not had, a, he, had, a cheese. he had a bitch and beard. But it takes like 500 <laughs> years to get there. <laughs> it almost looks like he's bobbing his head. I <laughs> might like edit us there using like editing magic and be like, we're here. <laughs> magic. We've magically arrived. I can't even imagine carrying around a 10 pound sandbag in my pants. See, and you'd think that it would actually slow his progress a little bit, but it's almost like he's walked around with a sandbag his entire life. <laughs> his life is a sandbag. Oh, he works out. <laughs> or that's what gives him his that butt such a nice shape. Look at that. Look at or that lack butt. thereof. What, this is a butt to you? <laughs> Girl, you, it, look at that. You can see the butt coming, you know, it's, it's, it's coming around a little bit. It's got a little definition. So this, let us take a moment. Oh, this is pretty. Yes, exactly. And it's, there's going to be some parallax scrolling here for all my nerds out there. It's really pretty and you'll see it. Look at that. <gasps> I know. Why are all I these know. chandeliers falling down? It's so beautiful. The I, opera ghost is lazy. Let's get that book while we're here. Uh, let, oh. Oh, are you serious? <gasps> what happened? The glass case has been smashed open. Whatever valuable objects it once contained are now missing. Someone obviously broke into the case during the chandelier confusion. It's a mystery. Well, I have no idea where this book could possibly be, but I'm gonna look in here and just see if it is. I found it <gasps> immediately. You scan the shelves for several minutes looking for the book that Julie Geary said was written by her great grandmother. Finally, you found it. Did I take it or no? Didn't didn't take it? Okay. Have to take book case. <laughs> take book. Here we go. I find it weird that he takes so long to walk and yet we just quickly immediately go through oh, yeah. several minutes of searching for the book. All right, let's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna get through it. Okay. You quickly thumb through Madame Geary's book about Eric, the Phantom of the Opera, and find it to be an interesting story. You were especially struck by the final paragraph. As, as for Eric, the Phantom of the Opera, no one is entirely sure what happened. How he met his death is unknown. It is said that after Christine died, it's Daye, right? 
Dying. Yeah, but you can say nah. you say day. It's I mean that's to how be they're consistent it. with the game. Yeah. <laughs> Flood with Raoul de Chagny, Eric died of loneliness and solitude in the depths of the catacombs. A skeleton unearthed in 1899 was believed to be the Phantom. A few artifacts were found in which which belonged to him. They were placed in the Opera House Library for safekeeping, which are gone. It was that's the thing that was looted. Mm. But no one has proven that the Phantom of the Opera did in fact die. Perhaps his spirit lives on, hoping that Christine Day would return to him in another form, in another time. I do not believe that the world has heard the last of Eric, the Phantom of the Opera. So that is the whole premise. Mm. The Phantom never died. He is a ghost. And he's avenging people. And Christine Day looks like... Or Christine Florent looks like Christine Day. So let's... It's our BFF! Look at this shit, man. He's Look at... That it's fancy. He's got a really. He's ah, got some nice Mr. digs. <gasps> Tell me what you're. My are. best friend. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. We're so well, sir. I missed you. The Phantom has communicated to us by writing. Uh, it was like oh. one note. Really, the Phantom, eh? Well, let's see what you have. Well, anyone can write a note and sign it OG. I forgot that kind of the first part of this game is kind of like detective. Like mm -hmm. you're supposed to show him evidence. There's been another crime in the library. He's kind of incredulous to believe that there actually is something wrong. What do you mean? Which is weird because there was like, I mean, how does a chandelier just fall? Apparently during the chaos tonight, you had a burglary. Wait, he didn't know that there had been a robbery in Correct. the library? Yeah, he didn't know. He is what? really not very in thorough when it comes to looking at around oh, his no. We, oh no. no. We were also preoccupied with the chandelier mishap that no one noticed. The artifacts are missing. 